This video is a quick review about the music festival Electric Love in Austria. I attended for the first time this year and I actually really loved it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who don't know me yet, I'm Cotton Candy. I travel the world vlogging and reviewing music festivals. If you want to see more videos about music festivals from different countries, definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new ones in the future. So yeah, this was my first Electric Love Festival 2019. Everyone calls it ELF for short. I loved the location for the festival. If you haven't traveled to Austria yet, I highly recommend so, whether you go to the festival or not. It's a really beautiful country and that's really apparent by by the venue for this festival. It's surrounded by like lakes and forests and it's just really pretty. I actually only went to two days of the festival this year and the reason for that is I was visiting Europe for other festivals. So I went to DEF CON 1 in the Netherlands and then the following weekend I was going to Croatia for Hard Island and then I saw the lineup. I saw that Darren Styles was going to be playing. I was like, why not? So I went straight from the DEF CON 1 campsite on Monday to Salzburg, Austria so I could go to Electric Love because of what I had already planned for Hard Island, I was only able to go Wednesday and Thursday of Electric Love, but I don't regret it. I'm really glad I made that spontaneous decision to stop by because I really enjoyed it. Since I only attended two days of the festival, this isn't a very in-depth review. Like it's really not fair of me to talk about the whole festival when I didn't experience it all. So I'll just talk about what my experience was while I was there for those two days and go from there. Okay, first of all, the lineup this year was stacked. And then I looked at lineups from the years before, also stacked. I didn't see most of these acts because the other days of the festival, Friday and Saturday were like the best days apparently with like the most acts and the most stages. On Thursday, the main stage was open and then that other stage called Club Circus and that was it. But I guess for Friday and Saturday, they open up the whole venue and there's a lot more stages and there's a cute dance stage. And so yeah, again, I'm sad that I missed it, but I didn't see a whole bunch of sets there, so I don't have very many to choose from, but I would say my top three favorite sets of my attendance at the festival would be number one, DJ Isaac, Tiesto and Darren Styles, and he was like the main reason that I decided to go to ELF, but I'll get to that in a second. I love Tiesto, he never disappoints. I know he's really mainstream and sometimes people hate on mainstream DJs. I love different smaller genres, but at the same time I can enjoy bigger acts like Tiesto and he did not disappoint me. It was a really fun set. So for DJ Isaac, obviously that set was full of a bunch of different energy. People really love hard dance music in Austria, I realized after seeing a bunch of sets. People were digging it and it was just so crazy because I got back from DEF CON. I wasn't sure what to expect when I went to ELF. Everyone loved hard style and it was super cool. The crowd for Tiesto, there was like a lot of room at the main stage. Like there wasn't like all this crowding, like people definitely gave each other room to dance. Everybody was just chilling, but everyone had like such great positive vibes. They were just in the party mood. I didn't have any bad interactions with anyone at Tiesto or DJ Isaac set. And then there was Darren style set. So on Wednesday, I would say that the crowd was a lot different than it was on Thursday. So I found out that Electric Love Festival is like a 15 plus or 16 plus event. So obviously there were kids there. And even though the festival in general is pretty expensive, like for the main days, Thursday through Saturday, the pre-party for Wednesday is only 22 euros, which is completely affordable for any teenager, right? So I think more young kids just went to the warm up party because it was affordable and it just wasn't great vibes. And it was absolutely the worst crowd I've ever had to be in for a Darren style set which made me very sad because you know he's my favorite DJ and usually it's just like really fun to be at one of his sets and it wasn't fun at all like you could ask my friend it was just uncomfortable people were fighting and pushing and shoving and moshing throwing dirty looks me and my friend were having too much energy like we were like yelling and singing with all the songs and they were like however that was just the pre-party and on Thursday when I went one of the main days of the festival the crowd was so much better so if you go next year just plan on going like the main days of the festival skip the pre-party it's too cheap any of the kids can afford it and yeah that's my advice let's talk about the production quality of the stages. I unfortunately only experienced those two. But what I did experience, like the main stage, I really liked the design. Like it was really cool and then all of the LED screens were in like different shapes and I feel like the visuals they created were super fun and unique and I really enjoyed it. The weather was actually really nice and I was so happy. But I guess the other days that I didn't attend the festival, it was actually like thunderstorming or raining. I was still like following them on social media. So I was seeing their weather updates 
updates and I think it rained pretty bad some of the days, but I don't know. And so my ticket for Wednesday was like 22 euros, like $24. And my ticket for Thursday was like 84 euros, like $90 or something like that. But if you wanted to get the three day pass, like if you're going next year for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, it's gonna be like 175 euros, 195 US dollars for the three day ticket pass. This is my wristband. I actually really like it. I think it's really cute. It is a cashless event, so you load all your money on this wristband and then you can pay for everything at the festival that way. They do have these top up stations where you can go put money on it if you didn't do it online already, which I had to do obviously because it was like a last minute decision to go. The festival is very prideful of the fact that they have so many different types of food there from different cultures. When I was on the shuttle bus going from my hostel area to the festival, I met some guy who I became friends with. He was kind of like shy and didn't really want to be in my vlogs, but he was really cool. He was telling me on, our, on the way there like how cool all the food selection was and I was like, okay, well I'm super hungry but I can only eat one thing. So if I'm here, what is the most authentic like Austrian meal I can get while I'm here? And he made a recommendation. I can't pronounce it, but I did eat it. It was like kind of like mac and cheese, like a pasta with a lot of cheese and like bacon mixed in and it was really unhealthy, but it was really good but I couldn't finish it all because it was like damn <laughs> oh yeah and about those free shuttles to the festival really cool of electric love to have that set up so there's a free shuttle that goes from Salzburg takes you to the festival and back and it's like continuously running and picked you up in front of the Salzburg train station and my hostel was actually only a five minute walk away from there so it was super convenient I stayed in like the cheapest hostel I could find because it didn't really matter I was only there a couple of days and only for the festival so only to like shower and sleep a and O hostel in Salzburg, Austria. I would recommend if you're going just for the festival, definitely look into that one if you're looking for a cheaper option. Overall, I really liked Electric Love Festival. I really liked Austria in general. I'm really glad I made the spontaneous decision to just stop by on my way from DEF CON to Hart Island. Maybe I'll be able to schedule like the full Electric Love Festival in my itinerary for next year's travels. If you want to, you can check out my Electric Love Festival vlogs if you want to see what it was like from my personal experience experience like I mentioned DEF CON 1, um, EDC Las Vegas, Tomorrowland. Um, I have videos of those on my YouTube channel as well if you want to check those out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos from different festivals in different countries all over the world. Thanks again for watching and until next time, peace out Girl Scouts!